What is up guys, it's Soul Bash. Welcome back to Mew Origin. Today we're going to cover another event. This one is called Blood Castle. It's already in the timer for the entry time. And this is probably one of the most underused event in the game. For one, the reason why I say it's underused is because the way people approach it. All right, when you first start out, this is Blood Castle, okay? You start out all in the same area, and just like the other event, I believe the max is going to be about 10. If it fills up, you're going to get put into another one. But Blood Castle, if you look at the map, it's just four different waves of mobs that are in the way. They always respawn, and then you've got a door at the end of it. Now, you have to kill that door to get inside of it. Once you're inside, I believe there's eight skeletons that you have to kill. Once those eight are killed, you can actually start attacking the coffin that is in the middle of that room. And what that does is when you kill the coffin, you've got a chance to, if you get the killing shot, you get extra items, kind of like the boss in Devil Square. It helps you get more items if you get the killing blow, but people underutilize this map the most. And why they do, I, I can't tell you. But the proper way to do this is to just kill stuff. There's no point in rushing that door up there just to kill it, to try to get the kill shot on that because the majority of you guys are gonna be a lower level. Now I'm gonna run out. You can see right here, everything starts spawning. So we're just gonna attack right here to begin with. And this is point based, just like Devil square. As you can see, I've already got 1200 points, 2000 points. So let's continue on up a little bit, get away from some people. And let's start attacking right here on the uh, Orc Berserkers. Now, as you can probably tell, I bet there's already somebody up there pretty close to the door. Now, this stuff respawns. This is what I don't get about this. You could sit here and kill this stuff for almost 10 minutes. I believe the event is close to 10 minutes long. And you're just going to continue running up and killing stuff. And I honestly, I don't see any point of running straight to the door to attack it. As you can see, destroy the castle gate on the left side. It's still up. So hope I'm hoping nobody will actually go up there and try to kill it because I'd like to get as many points as possible. Uh, I think the most points I've gotten in this one is like 61,000. And that's because you're able to sit down here and kill. But this is the door that I'm talking about. So you got people up here attacking it already. There's no reason for them to be up there attacking that at all. They should be down here farming points all they're doing is they're wasting experience. That is experience wasted, they could have gotten, they've already got the door down. Now you kill the eight magical magic skeletons and that's what lets you attack the chest. And they've already got a lot of them down. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in here. That's the sad part about this guys is you're not able to farm up, but people are impatient. This is the coffin that you have to kill. And basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna sit right on top of it and attack the crystal casket. And now it's done. Red Skull Knights spawn around you, and there's the crystal statue. Once it dies, that's it. People rush this way too much. You don't get any benefit out of it. That's it. If I would've killed a lot more stuff, I would've got more than 4.9 million experience. You would've got more points out of it. People, please quit rushing this. There is no point in going all the way up there and attacking that. You're doing this event entirely wrong. There's no point in trying to push that hard to get through the door and kill that casket. There's no point in it. You're wasting a lot of time and a lot of effort for doing that. If you would just stay down there, kill the trash, collect your points, you would get a lot more experience from this. Now, I'm just gonna collect what we've got here for normal experience. And like I said, that's the sad part about that event. Nobody knows how to do it. There's no point, like I said, and going up there and attacking that door that early. They're just wasting their time and wasting experience when they could be getting a lot more experience out of that. Sorry this was so short. I wish those guys wouldn't attack the door so fast. We would have been able to show you how much more stuff you could actually get from that being able to farm it. But guys, that is this event right here, which is in the Blood Castle. And just like the other one, you're able to craft the items to go into it. Just go to crafting the Devil Square tickets, what you need the keys and the, uh, not double square, I'm sorry, cloak of invisibility. It's It's been a long day, guys. But that's what's required to get into Blood Castle. You've got the Blood Bones and the Archangel's books that you have to have along with your Jewel of Chaos is to be able to create it. You should be able to farm that stuff up pretty easy. You get quite a bit of it. But guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about Blood Castle, feel free to leave them in the comments below. 
As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.